Hey folks, we're back again. I'm Dr. Brian Williams, and I'm here to do a little science with you and your kids using some very basic materials that you can find right around your home. Today we're going to be studying solubility and learning a little bit about some art that you can do with some science. Uh, so what you're going to need for the activity today um, are some Sharpie markers, a bunch of different colored Sharpie markers, um, a plastic cup, and then you're going to need some uh, alcohol, some rubbing alcohol. Um, I use, I got 91%, um, but basically some rubbing alcohol that you can pick up. You probably have it in your pantry or in your medicine cabinet. Uh, a medicine dropper, an eye dropper, or I have a little pipette here that I'm going to be using today, but something that will allow you to move the alcohol from a cup and onto your piece of artwork and then a small cup. Um, and then of course you're going to need something to do some artwork on. So we're gonna use a white cotton t-shirt. So you're gonna need a piece of cotton cloth and I suggest a nice cotton t-shirt. That way you can wear your art after you're finished with it. And then another rubber band. Um, so what we're gonna be studying today is solubility. And solubility is the idea that some things dissolve in others. So things that are insoluble, it means that it won't dissolve. And if it's insoluble in water, it means it won't dissolve in water. If it's soluble in water, it will dissolve in water. So we're gonna be studying solubility by playing with Sharpie markers. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna start with our t-shirt, our cotton t-shirt, um, and we're gonna get a uh, space in the cotton t-shirt that we wanna work with. And we're gonna slide our plastic cup inside the t-shirt like this. And then we're gonna secure it with a rubber band. We're making kind of a little drum here. You're gonna put it on nice and tight. And then uh, you're gonna sit it back on a surface nice and level. And then you're gonna take your Sharpie markers and you're gonna to start to doodle, do whatever you like. I'm gonna start with a black marker. I'm gonna make a little cross here on my shirt. And then I'm gonna take uh, maybe some yellow and I'm gonna make some little dots. And then maybe a red and I'm gonna make another circle around. And how about a little bit of blue and some little lines here with my blue and then maybe one more color i think i'll try this orange and with the orange i'm going to make some little lines kind of like this so this is kind of what i'm starting with just some basic shapes nothing too ex um, too specific in fact we want you to be creative uh, use your imagination go wild uh, so here's what we're going to do next so here's the way it works uh, the sharpie marker will not dissolve in water it's not soluble in water uh, that's why we don't let kids play with sharpie markers definitely around their cotton t-shirts um, and so if we were to put water on this nothing would happen um, because once again sharpie markers are insoluble in water they don't dissolve in water but we've got rubbing alcohol and one of the things that we know about sharpie ink and rubbing alcohol is that Sharpie ink is soluble in rubbing alcohol. In other words, Sharpie ink will dissolve in rubbing alcohol. So we're going to see what happens if we put a little bit of rubbing alcohol on our cotton t-shirt where we, uh, we put our Sharpie markers. So I'm going to got my pipette here, I'm going to fill it up. And then what we're going to do is we're going to drop some of this alcohol right in the middle of our cotton t-shirt and see what happens. So I'm just dropping it in. And you're gonna do this very slowly. And what you're looking for is as you drop your alcohol on your cotton t-shirt, you're gonna see that circle of alcohol start to spread. And as it does, it's gonna to begin to pick up some of that ink and carry it and move it around. And that's once again because Sharpie marker dissolves in rubbing alcohol. It's soluble in rubbing alcohol. That's our word for the day, solubility. It's soluble in rubbing alcohol. And so it's gonna to start to kind of move that ink around. And the longer you do it, if you need to add a little bit more rubbing alcohol, go ahead and squeeze a little bit more. And over time, it's gonna to start to kind of spread. And you're gonna see these new designs kind of appear on your t-shirt. I'm gonna do a little bit more here. So, 
once you finished with your design in that area, you've got this whole t-shirt that you can cover. So all you need to do is take off your rubber band, move to a nice clean spot on your t-shirt, put your rubber band back on, and start again with a new design. So over time, what will end up happening is you'll get a t-shirt full of designs, kind of like this, that you can then uh, wear out. And everybody's gonna ask you how you made that amazing t-shirt. And you can say uh, with a little bit of imagination and a whole lot of science. So once again, fun little activity. Here's the thing, if you want to uh, set the colors, if you don't want them to bleed when you put them in the washing machine, just throw this in the dryer and run it on high and that'll heat set the colors. Or you can dunk it in some water with about a little bit of vinegar in it and that'll also set the color so they don't run in the washing machine. But once again, nice little simple science which, um, activity that you can do to study solubility with some very basic materials that you can find right around your house. All right. So hope you had a good time. Do some science with your kids this week. I'll see you next time.